Hey Pastry Puffs, welcome back to Strudel Reviews. In today's video, we are finally going to be reviewing the LOL OMG Fierce Lady Diva doll, who was one of four 707 day collector dolls in celebration of OMG's third Anna, like third birthday. And I've been really, really, really excited for Lady Diva because she wound up being my my favorite out of the whole line, which is ironic because she was my least favorite when Series 1 dropped. And you could tell Miss Ma'am had stepped her pussy up. Like, look at her. Look at her. Mama, this is a complete and utter swerve. Literally. Love her. Love her, love her, love her. All right, we're going to start off with the eyebrows. They look totally like a regular, just like your normal set of eyebrows on the thinner side. And there's like lines of feathering in the very corner of the brows. And then on her eyes, you can tell she is an ombre eyeshadow that starts off with a kind of hottish pink color, but fades into a lavender color. And then you can tell she's got her same light blue eyes, but with a little more detail as she's got two white, two whites, like two white spots in her eyes instead of the regular one that most OMGs get. And you can tell she's got hot pink lip gloss and she's got an open mouth mold because you can see she's showing a little bit of teeth. When the other, when the regular OMGs don't show teeth at all, the fierce girlies do. And you can tell she's got her, her little beauty mark right in the same spot as it was on her original doll. And then we go down to her necklace so you can see she's got this pink metallic plastic necklace that's supposed to look like a choker with little gems hanging down it to give it like that look of a layered necklace and underneath she's got a iconic little turtleneck bodysuit that has one sleeve and then the other sleeve is just like a little fishnet sleeve and you can tell like the solid part of the bodice is I want to say that is Leopard? I, I want to say this is like cheetah or leopard print, and it's got like snake skin integration. As we all know, the original Lady Diva had snake skin boots. And the fishnet part of the bodysuit has leopard printing on it as well, as well as a bit of glitter embedded into the fabric to give it that little bit of sparkle. And then over the bodysuit is this little, like, stretchy fabric skirt that has these little, um, I want to say kind of cord detailing on both sides of the skirt with these little, um, little strings dangling off it. And the little skirt is plain black. And then she's got this plastic belt that does not fasten in the back. It just sits on her hips. And the top part of the belt says lady. Like has the word lady dangling. And then the bottom part of the belt looks like a little harness. Oops. <laughs> Where this side. Uh, you can tell I'm very excited for her. As you can tell this side of the belt holds like D, the first part of the word diva and then the second side of the harness holds the VA so all together it spells lady diva which we all know her original belt was just a little plastic belt that just had diva on it and then we're gonna go down to these awesome sickening pleather boot covers which on the outside are this metallic oil slick pink color 
And on the inside, you can tell is a plain black is a plain black pleather material, which gives it nice little lining. And if we look on the back of the boot cover, you can tell it's got the similar silver cord material that her skirt has. And these look very, very similar to the denim boot covers that Kitty K has from the remix line. Oops, I dropped something. Um, the little denim boot covers from Kitty K's, like, remix doll. Y'all remember her? And then, um... The piece that I'm most excited for is this little fur sh this little fur, you can call it either a shawl or a stole. And it's like roughly the same material and color as Lady Diva's, the original Lady Diva's jacket, which is so, so soft and pretty. And the way it just sits around her shoulders. Ugh, love it. Stentine. And then for her earring, one side she's got this big long snake earring, which is held in by a clear post. And on this side, she's got this little microphone earpiece that is the same plasticky material as her necklace. And it looks like gem shards that turn into a mic. She does have another earring that looks just like this, but Minnie Strudel had lost that. And she also comes with a pair of sunglasses that are just... have no nose frame. They kind of look very similar to, um, Gamma Babe's second pair of glasses. If y'all want to go and see Gamma Babe's review, it's already on my channel. You can go back and look at that. And to talk about Lady Diva's hair, she's got her original, like, whitish green hair color. But the only difference is one of the few. Hold on. She's stuck on something. Hold on a second. Girly, what are you stuck on? Oh, your hair was stuck to the. Okay, I got it. Sorry about that. Her hair got stuck to the base. Her hair was stuck to her stand. But um, you can tell she no longer has the poodle braid, like the poodle bangs, but instead they were straightened out and they were tied off to the side in this little funky looking braid thing and they tied it off to this specific ponytail. Which, it may look like she has two ponytails from the front that are long and curly, but she really has four on the back, two on the bottom, two on the bottom, two on the top, and they go and they end in these adorable little ringlets, which are absolutely gorgeous, and she's got little baby hairs on the side, and you can tell they had overpainted the scalp on My Lady Diva on this side, which, like, for how much the... She cost, like, she, I paid thirty six ninety nine for her. They should have paid attention to, like, where they painted the scalp. So you don't have issues like that. And if she was in my local, if she was at my local Walmart, I would have been able to watch out for those things. But she's not, so I had to order her off of Walmart.com. And I can't be really choose. I can't be picky or choosy when it comes to that, so I just have to deal with it. And then, uh... Hold on a sec. Eh, not important. But, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> About the articulation, she's got articulation in the in the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, and also she's got the same hot pink French mani, like the hot pink mani, like, mm, yes. 
like so the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and she's got knee the knee articulation, but instead of the bend and snap knee, since this is a doll of an all new height, they have full on plastic legs. So this is a hinge. This is a hinge joint. So she could still bend at the knee, and these dolls also have articulation in the ankle. Which, whoo, girl. And also, these are a brand new head mold. They're like slightly smaller. They're a slightly smaller head mold than the regular OMGs, so that's iconic. Like, mama, that's a swerve. And then she has like this really wide stand base that says OMG Fierce on it. And unlike her original, instead of it being pearly white, it is black with white. And it's black with silver glitter. And for her other accessories, she comes with this snakeskin bag that says LOL OMG, which match her little boots. And if you look at the back, there's like little there's a little tooth at the heel. And there's little chains silver chain surrounding the boot and this snakeskin bag is so iconic she comes with this pink hairbrush and I think now we are going to do like a little comparison between the fierce do a little height comparison between all of the dolls so this is a fear this is a fierce doll so she's about 12 inches tall the same size as a Barbie. Lady Diva will totally knock Barbie's ass out in a fight, then step on her and steal her goddamn lunch money, and y'all can't tell me no different. And then we're gonna bring out the original Lady Diva. Just to show y'all a comparison of this is what the original Lady Diva looks like, and this is what Fierce Lady Diva looks like. And you can see there is quite a bit of difference in the height. And then we're going to bring out a BTW, which is Aya Cherry. Oh, I forgot to mention the OMGs are about nine inches tall. And then Aya Cherry of the BTWs, she's about six inches tall. So this is what a fierce OMG and BTW height difference looks like. And then last, but certainly not least, we're going to bring out the handy dandy trusty old metal babe from Hair Goals, from the Hair Goals series, Wave 2, who is about three inches tall. So you can tell like there was a drastic height difference between the LOL and the BTW. And then there is another drastic height difference between the BTW and the OMG. And now there's an even more drastic height difference between the OMG and the the OMG and the fear stall. If it wants to focus. Again, I find this fucking hilarious. <laughs> and I did a TikTok the other night. Of all of these dolls just showing off the height difference. <laughs> Trying to figure out why it won't focus. Come on, focus. <laughs> Which is, like, I, I find that pretty funny. This is mini strudel, so she could go off to the side. And those who only like who are like me and only collect the fashion dolls, this is how they all look in scale. So it goes up about three inches in height, which is pretty fucking hilarious to me. Because the fierce dolls, hold on, let me <laughs> let me show y'all one hilarious thing: the height difference of a little gremlin and a fierce doll. If she's not careful, she could literally just kick poor metal babe right on her stand. <laughs> Ooh, okay, uh, that's enough of the humor. <laughs> Even though I don't want the humor to end, but it's got to be enough.
But just um, real quick, just a comparison of the the side, the bases. Because the BTW base is circular, the OMG base is circular, and the Fierce base is a really huge rectangular base. Which I find so goddamn funny. Alright, thank you, Aya Cherry. Thank you for the comparison, Lady Diva. And this Lady Diva right here and now will forever and always be... Well, is currently going to be my favorite fear stall until the rumored Kitty K can the rumored Kitty K and Candylicious come out, and then we're supposed to be getting a hundred dollar collector doll for a sibling for Pharaoh Babe. And you best believe I'm gonna be snatching them bitches up because I am in love with the fierce line. They are iconic. They are the perfect medium. For regular collectors who grew tired of the regular OMGs, but they absolutely adore the BTWs. And now they have a second option where it's OMG char like existing characters, for the most part, who get like a full overhaul. And again, Lady Diva stepped her motherfucking pussy up and she is worthy of my number one favorite spot. The goddamn Iquan herself. So, yes, we love, we stand the icon. Oh, Metal Babe don't want to stand up now. Oh, <laughs> Metal Babe don't want to stand up. All right, with that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!